Hello and welcome to Yesterday's Airlines and in this video we're going to be doing something slightly different because we're not going to be looking at the Boeing 787 which you can see in frame. Instead we're going to be looking at those coaches which you can see parked directly ahead of the 787. Yes, in this video we're going to start a series on ground service equipment or GSE which is increasingly important for 400 scale model collectors because they obviously want to be able to display their models in a realistic setting. And that doesn't mean on a stand necessarily, it means at a gate or on the runway or on the apron. So it's quite important in that case to be able to get hold of some ground service equipment which is gonna suit your aircraft. And this video is going to be dedicated to looking at the buses and coaches that are available in 400 scale. Now the stimulus for this video, from my perspective, is that my friends at Fantasy Wings have sent me through uh, a selection of their ground service equipment for me to have a look at and review. And that includes one of their Cobus series of buses. So I'll be having a look at their Cobus bus, which is the one on the furthest left, this one here. And comparing that to a selection of these other buses which I've picked up from various places over the years to see you know, how it looks and whether it fits nicely with your 400 scale aircraft. So I wanna say thank you to, to Fantasy Wings for sending me through um, some of their GSC. Um, I've got several model airports as you're probably aware and you can never have enough ground service equipment for those airports. Okay, um, so just before uh, I get into a closer look at the buses themselves, I um, just want to say a little bit about Fantasy Wings themselves. Uh, Fantasy Wings are a company, I think they're from Hong Kong, and they are dedicated to producing a range of really interesting and high quality um, ground service equipment and um, other airport ephemera like light poles and you know, remote gate stands and that kind of thing. They do 400 and 200 scale, um, and they've even produced a few 400 scale models in the past, um, but under a Kytark Wings brand name. So they increasingly seem to be the leaders in this space. Um, there's a big gap in GSE in general. Uh, most of the brands have dabbled at times with various bits and pieces, but rarely has anyone produced a steady stream of good quality material. So it's great to see someone moving into that space and producing good quality stuff. And, and from what I've seen, Fantasy Wings products are now available at a variety of um, the major die-cast metal um, airline stores like Waffle Collectibles, Easy Toys, so on and so forth. So um, they're pretty easy to get hold of in the West. And yeah, let's uh, start by having a look at these buses. Okay. Okay, now Fancy Wings have produced a selection of different buses with different airline logos on. I believe they're all Cobus buses, as is this one, a Cobus 3000. I think Cobus are um, a real manufacturer of buses, obviously, and they seem to have cornered the market for these kind of low rider airport buses, which are easy to get in and out of, um, so you can get your aircraft when it's parked on a remote stand somewhere. So the bus, um, that uh, they produce, they come in a box of four, as you can see, in this rather nice handy box. This particular example has um, a Swiss port associated with it, so it would be obviously great if you've got a Swiss port airport. Um, it comes in this re really nice box, um, good detailing, and over on the back you've got um, some information about their Instagram and their web page and their Facebook page as well. So, you know, they're reasonably um, in the market, they're easy to find and producing these kind of buses. This is certainly not the first set of these. Um, I think they've done some in um, Cafe Libre and various things like that. So that's the box. Um, and they come in a set of four, as you, as you saw. So moving to the bus itself, if I just bring one across, obviously these are very small, which makes it quite hard to see them in um, with the camera. But if I zoom in, get a close look, you can see I'm having to zoom in a lot. There's a lot of detail on this bus, which is obviously very small. I mean, it's got my finger for a size. And you can see that it's made of plastic, unsurprisingly. It's also see-through, so you can see directly through the bus to the other side, which is nice. 
Um, there's no seating inside, which is like it's a minor complaint. But there's some really good printing detail on the roof and on the sides especially. And you can see underneath it's plastic. They don't have rolling wheels. Um, GSE at this level almost never does. It's just too small. And from the front, um, again, you can see some really nice detail. Now something which is cool with this bus, as you can see from the front, are that they've molded in and attached the mirrors here, which is, which is really cool. And they look like little uh, insect antennae. And that's the first time I've seen that on a 400 scale um, piece of ground service equipment. You see they've got a decent shape from the front of those mirrors as well. So it's a really good looking, you know, bus um, that goes, you know, really nicely with your aircraft. And if we just zoom out a bit, so you know, I can put this next to, you know, my 787 here. You can see that the buses, you know, they, they scale, you know, very nicely and correctly with the aircraft that we've got visible here. So no issues on a scaling perspective and really, really nice quality in terms of the print and, you know, the extra details being able to see through the bus and also having the wing mirrors on. So now I think that, um, that these buses are looking pretty hot and very good. Um, for you know any 400 scale model airport or place where you've got a need for remote stands to bring the buses around to. So good stuff there. Now how do they compare um, with the other buses which are on the market in this space? Well um, let's do a, a quick comparison of these with the buses that I own which is from a variety of different brands I've picked up in the past few years. Okay, so let's start our bus off, shall we? Um, to begin, we've got something which I think most collectors will recognise. On the right-hand side here, we've got a Gemini Jets bus, which is a really classic bus from their classic GSE set, which is actually really good for retro um, airports. You can see it's got uh, actually quite an impressive amount of detail, this bus. It's got C3 windows, well, and it's even got seats, but it's a very old, oldie worldy design, you know, not really very modern, certainly doesn't really fit too well on a modern um, airport as opposed to this Cobus 3000 which you know is about as modern as buses get I think don't know much about buses <laughs> so you know I think that it you know obviously it's a different kind of bus really to the Gemini one which is actually quite nice um, now if you move to another bus which again is a different form of bus um, and this one is from the Aero Classics um, GSE sets this one has to be in United Colours there are a few around they're quite hard to find actually um, I've always thought this bus was just too big and it seems out of scale. And I think you can see it here when you put these buses front on. I mean, this bus is a massive bus. Um, really a bit too big, I think, for 400 scale. It's very chunky and solid as well. And it's got a metal um, casting with a plastic bottom. So it's actually a rock solid bus. Um, it's not see-through um, for that reason, but it is, uh, I think, probably a little bit big. And certainly, again, it's a bit old fashioned. Now moving on to uh, more contenders which are more like the bus um, that we've got in front of us. Panda Models produced a series of Cobus buses um, a few years back and here is um, probably their best one. And you see here it is a Cobus bus um, and it's got the shape generally right um, and it's got some really nice printed detail. Again it's, um, it's quite a solid bus, it's completely solid through. I think it's again made of metal um, at least at the top. and. Even though the shape is correct, it's missing a lot of the details. It doesn't have the little sticking up light there at the top. It doesn't have any see-through capability. It doesn't have the um, the mirrors. So I actually quite like this bus, um, and I've got a few of these. I've got a set of them, um, and it's pretty good, but it does, doesn't look quite as good. Now, it's not the only bus that Panda made. They also made um, this one, which looks quite different in Hanayan colors, but I think it mainly looks different because you can't see the front wheels, so otherwise I think it's pretty much the same shape um, as this bus. And that's not the only one they made, they also made another bus, which again looks quite similar to the Hainan one, and this one's in Jimen colours. Again, they look okay, um, they're a bit boxy, and they've got a very yellow top as well, um, but they share the same characteristics as the other um, Panda bus, in the sense that they um, are solid. So, yeah, not bad. And certainly they look great on an airport, but they're nowhere near as good as this um, Cobus bus made by Fantasy Wings, which has got what is, I assume, the air conditioning unit in relief at the top here. It's got um, some really nice detailing. So, yeah, not as good, but still, they're pretty, pretty fine. Now, the closest competitor for the 
um, the Fantasy Wings bus here, I think comes from JC Wings and Gemini. They've also produced um, a co-bus bus. Quite like saying that. <laughs> and, and this one looks the most similar, um, but is perhaps not as nice. Um, now, the good things about it are that it's, you can see it's got very see-through, um, which is cool. Again, there's no seats in it, which is understandable. Um, there is, however, some printing detail in on the inside, I think, which is nice. Um, it's also got some the, the air conditioning units in relief, but it's a little bit chunky and boxy in comparison to the what's on the Fantasy Wings version here. Um, not quite as nice, and you can see obviously it's lacking some of the other details, the leaf, uh, the light in relief, and the uh, the mirrors. So this is, uh, I think, been used by both JC Wings. I think this is JC Wings one, China Southern, um, and it's also been used, I believe, by. Gemini 2 and, it, and it's a good bus but it's still quite some distance away from the Fantasy Wings bus so I think that when you look at these buses together that it's clear that the Fantasy Wings bus here is is probably the most attractive of them it's certainly got the most detail in terms of the added mirrors and the aircon unit and the light it's got you know really nice um, see-through windows and it looks really good from most angles and I think that if you've got um, a model airport where you need to have some transport to the gates or you just want to have some buses around because you know they're always around airports anyway um, then this is probably the bus to go for so I think Fantasy Wings have done a really good job with this co-bus bus it's certainly the best moulding that I've seen um, and it looks really good now obviously um, it's not just buses that Fantasy Wings make and, and if you've got remote stands that you need to bus to you're probably also going to need to have some other stuff and so Fantasy Wings also produce sets like this um, for remote gate stands, which is pretty cool. And we'll have a look at those at the website and on some more videos coming up. But for now, um, that's my video introducing these little Fantasy Wings ground service equipment buses, perfect for working with your, um, your aircraft and for making your airport model look super realistic. So, yeah, I highly recommend um, these little buses. Now, thanks very much for watching. As always, um, yesterday's airline strives to bring you this kind of news and reviews. And check out the website, check out my Facebook page, check out my Instagram at Yesterday Airlines um, for more of this kind of content. Subscribe to the channel if you like the video, and thanks very much for watching. See you later.